angry guy here and brick lady has been charged with a felony for lying about brick attack Guys, if you're enjoying the content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. The Brick Lady has been charged with a felony for lying about the Brick Attack. Let's go ahead and just jump right into this article. It's pretty insane. So she has actually now been charged with a felony. Brick Lady charged in Houston for alleged false claims. A woman is facing felony theft. So it's a felony, guys, by deception charges after collecting over $40,000 through a GoFundMe account over an alleged false claim. Rhonda Osman, 33, is accused of false, falsely claiming she was hit with a brick after not giving a man her number in Southwest Houston on September 3rd. The incident went viral after she took to her Instagram live to share what happened. Houston police responded to reports of an aggravated issue at 5115 Schumacher uh, Lane. Police say Osman was visibly under the influence and irate after a night out with friends. Okay, so this is an interesting point. So she was not even by herself. She was actually with other people. In the original report, Osman said she was walking and an unknown man uh, basically connected a brick with her head. This was after she refused to give him her number when she when he asked for it. She told she also told police that she ordered an Uber and thought the driver was trying to take her somewhere she didn't want to go when she got into the car with him. Authorities later obtained footage showing Osman engaging in a verbal and physical altercation with a man. A court document states that she actually put her hand on his face. In the, so she hit, she uh, basically put her, well, not even her hand, but she basically used an object that, that was in her hand and she connected it with his face. They don't know what the object was following a verbal argument outside of a lounge. After that, he basically retaliated with what appeared to be a water bottle. The man then left the scene with another man. The whole ordeal was caught in on sur a surveillance camera nearby, which differs from Osman's initial claim of being uh, basically targeted by a stranger. The account became viral on social media as Osman posted Live on Instagram, garnering thousands of views. The situation was further complicated by Osmond's GoFundMe account, which collected $42,302 by falsely claiming she had been uh, she had been uh, wrongfully targeted at, by a man after she refused to share her phone number. And the investigation also uncovered a concerning pattern. A mental health advocate cited a similar incident in involving Osman in Minneapolis in 2020. In this incident, she allegedly fabricated a story about being, again, targeted by a black man. This led to another GoFundMe account. An arrest warrant has been issued for Osman based on the evidence gathered. So she's been continually going after black men, claiming that black men have been uh, doing things to her, have been, you know, been, you know, targeting her and, and, and doing ca causing harm to her. She's been doing this for at least four years now. Four years, at least four years. It's absolutely massive, absolutely massive. And it's it's just, it's continually ongoing. It's very, very sad. It's very, very sad that this is happening. And this is, and it's like these black men are being blamed for things that they have not done. A lot of black women shared the story. They came after black men on social media saying that black men are allowing this to happen and they're a part of it. They're the ones responsible for it. There's a picture of her and it's just absolutely, it's sad, it's pathetic what's going on here. And of course, the women who went after black men, they're not going to ever acknowledge that they were wrong. They're not going to make any videos apologizing. 
they're only going to double down and use this as more evidence as, of why you know black women need protection and why black men are a problem within their communities. It's 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 terrible. It really, really is terrible. And it's no wonder that why black men are avoiding relationships with, with you know African American women in Western society and leaving and you know either dropping out of society entirely or going overseas to start new lives with Filipino wives or any other or a Latina or Eastern European woman or or a woman in the Caribbean or a woman in Africa because they're tired of this. They're absolutely tired of this. When I heard black guys say, like, you know, we've been doing this longer than longer than the white guys, I, I'm like, what are you talking about? And now I realize, now I understand. You know, I didn't understand before. I didn't understand just how long this has been going on, just how long their communities were destroyed by Tyrone, Ray Ray, Pookie, and the single mothers that they love so much, you know, because these, these are single mother creators. It's a it's a it's a villainous cycle where you know where, where these people get together. And they and they destroy their communities together, you know. That's why these men have all that single mother energy because they were created by single mothers and they create single mothers. It's a villainous cycle, villainous cycle. And these people are the first ones to claim that they are victims. You'll always see Keisha out there screaming that she's a victim, when in reality Keisha is the one who put herself in this situation. Keisha is the one who's been destroying her community. Okay, she's a villain. She's a villain. And then ever and then you see Tyrone screaming on the news that you know this police officer did this to him and this police officer did that to him. But Tyrone, you won't stop, you won't stop stealing. All right. You have what I mean, bro, you've got like 14 felonies and 32 misdemeanors, you know, and you're only 27. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You know, I mean, you were robbing that 7-Eleven. When you know when the, when and that police officer gave you a chance and you refused, you know you refused to submit. So you know, in fact, you charged at him, and now you're laying up in a hospital. You should be grateful to God that you're still alive, and, and, and saying that you're going to file a lawsuit because this was he didn't have to use that kind of force, and he really should have let you go. He didn't have to get involved because he was off duty at the time. And he should have minded his business. Like, what kind of argument is that? He should have minded his business because he was off duty at the time. And he should let, let you get away with your bag of money. No, 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 no. And he has a lawyer literally sitting there with him saying that the city is going to have to pay up for this because black men are going through this in the Western. This is the reason why black men are abandoning Western society. They're looking at it like, no, we can't stay here anymore. Mm-mm. Because these men are messing it up. Like, people are just looking like, nah, we can't be associated with these people anymore. These clowns. No, we're done with these clowns. We're done with these clowns. Down, done with, we're done with Keisha. We're done with Tyrone. We're done with Ray Ray. We're done with Enrique. Okay? We're done walking in, seeing little Poncho coming out, our, out of our house, acting like he's a plumber when, he's, when he was really fixing our, 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 our girls and our, our, our girlfriends or wife's pipes. Like, he wasn't fixing... He wasn't fixing the pipes in the bathroom. He was fixing. He was fixing Keisha's pipes. Okay, he was fixing her plumbing. He was working on her plumbing. Little Poncho, can you imagine this? Little Poncho laying in your bed, fat little belly, you know, drinking a tequila, kicking his little feet up after he's done cl clapping your girl's cheeks. Black men are tired of this. They're done with this nonsense. Done with this nonsense, and done with little Poncho too. All right, he needs to take care of his kids. Can you? I mean, can you imagine this nonsense? Little Poncho's out there with thirty-five kids, and dude is not even forty-six yet. Not even forty-six yet. This man has thirty-five kids, not even forty-six yet, and his oldest is almost thirty. Like, get the heck up out of here! Get the heck up out of here! Okay, this man is already a grandfather, not even forty-six years old yet, and this man is already a grandfather. He can fill up a. I mean, this man could like literally carry his children could carry an NBA team, an NBA team. Nah, mm -mm, mm -mm. it's understandable. Black men, black guys, I understand. I understand. All right, I was wrong in the past for like being a little too hard on y'all because I didn't know what y'all were going through. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers and our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again.
the brick lady has been charged with a felony for lying about the brick attack. I want to know what you guys think regarding this, so let's talk about it more in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away, and cheers.